Well, okay, so you've, you've mentioned a couple of different uh, uh, claims that are repeated you, that you often hear. Uh, that specific one about 12 years or 11 years, that seems to have originated from the, uh, uh, the UN Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. They, uh, I think it was last year, released an a partial report, like not one of their full assessment reports, but a partial one looking at a specific thing saying, how can you keep global warming below 1.5 degrees Celsius? And uh, for convenience, there's loads of different estimates, even within the models about when that would occur. If t assuming that the models are correct, y even there, you d there's a lot of disagreement over that. So, but they kind of arbitrarily said, well, what could we do by 2030, which last year was 12 years from now. And so there is a couple of lines in, in the report that say, by 2030, this is what we would like to have achieved. And then that got spun by certain groups to say, we've only 12 years left to save the planet, which I don't think even, there was maybe some people in there, but it was a kind of an arbitrary <coughs> figure. The science has settled, well, certainly, uh, you know, if you do, there's been a number of surveys of the scientific community. They're, I, unfortunately, they're, often poorly designed. I'm just saying that from a surveying perspective. It's they're done by uh, academics that are tr often have an expectation of what they're looking at. They're not done by, I it's not like say Ipsos or one of these polling agencies that uh, don't, don't really have a skin in the game or for whatever, they just want to know what is the opinion? This was kind of, if you read most of these papers, the authors of the surveys pr almost had an expectation of what they were going to find. If, if the science, if science is ever completed, then that would mean, y if that was the case, then you would see all of the scientists on a particular field saying, uh, we're finished. Clo you know, uh, we're closing shop. So th 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 that doesn't make sense. Science doesn't work a, eh? like, um, I guess in the, uh, democracy works by uh, consensus, uh, like getting majority views, but science doesn't work on that. Science doesn't care what we think. Like the nat nature doesn't care what we think the climate should be doing. Nature is doing that. Uh, our, jo our role as scientists should be to try and uh, figure out what's happening. Mm -hmm. And the scientific method, well, you know, like the way that I would consider it is that you should have, like, s on the one hand you have theory and you can have models that are developed from these. These are very important aspects of science, but the other aspect is science should be trying to explain the observations explain what's happening in reality and so we should it should be this kind of recursive cycle where you have experiment where you have experimental uh, observations uh, leading to scientists developing theories and models then they try and uh, extrapolate those models to to come up with experiments to test and then test those against the observations and you should be a continual cycle and if you talk to a number of the climate modelers they would uh, off the record many of them would would tell you that the if their model is giving the uh, a different result from all of the others then they will feel pressure to f uh, figure out what's going wrong with their model because all of the other models are giving something else. So there is a kind of a, uh, almost a groupthink going on with that.